On this video I play the study of Friedrich Burgmüller twice. The first time at a rate of 76 beats per minute. And the second time at a rate of 152 beats per minute. In this study called A Dainty Flower, the composer wrote down a tempo moderato e delicato. A quarter note he gives 152 beats per minute. So you might believe that this is the right tempo, but this tempo is much too fast to play by children for whom Burgmüller wrote down this study. Therefore, I believe that my first version with beats per minute, with 76 beats per minute, is the right one. I shall explain you why I think that. If you set your metronome at 152 beats per minute, the pendulum goes back and forth and says 76 times tick tock. One tick tock is one count. One back and forth of the metronome is one count. You hear two ticks, but these two ticks is only one count. It is back and forth. It is the same as a lot of players of wind and string instruments do while playing. They move one foot, mostly the right one, down and up. They do this to keep time. Down is tick and up is talk. But tick and talk together is only one count. So the movement of the metronome back and forth is also only one count. That is the way in which the composers of the 19th century, like Burgmüller, used their metronomes. And that is the way you must also read the metronome number of this study. First, I play a dainty flower at a rate of 76 beats per minute. In my opinion, the right tempo.
I play it at a rate of 152 beats per minute. In my opinion, not the right tempo, because it's no longer a moderato, but a presto 